guys, it's Hawkeye, and I am back with Ice Lakes. Yeah, I just saw not too long ago my good buddy Dulakaba, aka Kachi. He just put out a tips, tricks, uh, basically uh, how you play this game in every shape, way, shape, and form, which is extremely useful. It's like the fishing 101 that he did for Fishing Planet. So that actually saves me a lot of trouble <laughs> because. A lot of times I have to go and explain how I'm doing stuff, and if you really want to know all the ins and outs about the tackle and about clicking on things and making things work, uh, definitely you got to watch that video. Excellent video, guys. I mean, it, it, it is the basics of everything to make this thing work, with the only exception that not, it doesn't show online yet, which we haven't gotten to, but we will soon, trust me. And he'll probably still kick my butt, but I'm, I'm holding my own now. I've been practicing, and I'm not doing too bad, guys. I'm really not doing too bad. Let's see my stats here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've earned so far a little over 4,000. And I've spent about three, almost 4,000. And I've not done too bad. I've caught 125 fish. About 120 pounds worth of fish. The heaviest one was a brown trout. Well, wasn't a brown trout. Uh, well, that's awesome. Anyway, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go back. Now, I don't know that we're going to do any tournaments at this point. Because it's going to take a little too long. So, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you guys... Another good way to make money, you can uh, obviously you can do money by uh, just doing free fishing. But in this particular one, I think I want to do total weight because I was able to do very well with getting a pretty heavy amount of fish. I did try the biggest fish and I didn't come in first. But my first tournament, and that would be, let me go back here real quick, this basic training tournament. I won. <laughs> I actually won, guys. Not too bad, I don't think. Anyway, we're going to get on here. We're going to do total weight. And I'm going to go back to Moose Lake just because I really like Moose Lake. There's a lot of big fish here, and I kind of know where to, the best areas to fish are. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the depth finder here. So let's, let's see. If you, in this particular one, as long as you get in fifth place, you can still earn a decent amount of money. You don't come away with nothing, which is really good. But so far, the biggest fish that I've caught was a white fish at 4.53 pounds. I think, I think Delacaba's gotten one almost six pounds. But the problem is we're limited because of the size of the hole that we're able to drill. And I don't know if you've seen any equipment, but these drills are not cheap, and I don't have anywhere close to the right amount. But I'm trying to decide, I think I'm just going to shoot for the heavy standard. But I think if I get that, and my next thing to purchase would be this ultra light rod, because then I'll be able to compete a lot better with the most fish categories. Because it's just, those little fish, it's just too subtle for me. I, I end up missing them half the time because I just don't see a twitch. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this down to a minimum of about 15 minutes. It's not very long, I know. But I don't want this to go way, way over. I'm going to go with noon in the winter. Sounds good to me. And let's see what happens. Okay, this is an actual competition, so... Alright, let's see. I know where I want to go. I want to go where it's deep. Here's pretty good. All 
All right, there's my hole. All right, now I want to show you real quick what I've got going here. I've got two of the Moniscus Red Devil and the Tropical Sunrise. The Tropical Sunrise has been real good for getting those perch. I've also got, of course, the Blue Beast, which it comes with, and the Green Goblin. I absolutely love the Green Goblin, guys. This That is like an awesome lure for getting these bigger fish. And I've also got the Meteor hook on it, I think, right there. Yes, you can switch out the hooks. The Meteor is my favorite. There's another one that I want to get soon, but I really want to get that auger first. So, anyway, let me go ahead and scoop this out. And let's see, what kind of uh, lures do I have? Let's go with the Sharky. I only have five of them, but it's good for perch, roach, eel, and root. Eh, no, I might go with the brown does. Wait a minute, what's the golden balls for? Santa Brain, rough. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with the trout jam. I've got plenty of them. And we'll scoop it. And we press the F key. Now remember this F key has to be pressed. And make sure you, when you grab your rod, I did exactly, one thing I found out by watching Delacobus, because he's an ice fisherman, he's really done this for like for real, in real life. I found that I wasn't really uh, doing anything wrong. Seems to me that I was doing it just the way you're supposed to be doing it. Now, I, I tend to like to use a circular motion when I fish. And it seems to work for me pretty good, <laughs> as you can see. Now, I didn't learn that from the video. I just kind of went with that. It just seemed right. And I think Delagato would even agree with me on that one. Because while it might, you know, he said you can do side to side and up and down, this kind of combines elements of both. And I don't know if it improves things or not, but it's just the way I feel comfortable with doing it. If nothing happens, I'll switch and go the other way. There we go. See what I mean? I get some pretty good sized fish this way. Nice white fish. Nice white fish. Alright, let's give her another shot. Now I probably won't get any more pike, but I should still be able to get these white fish. I might have to go move after a while, but I'm going to see how long I can fish out of this. Now we're interested in total weight, so the bigger they are, the better they are. The other thing is, I've caught or hooked into a lot of really big fish. I think, I, yeah, it's not too bad. But they weren't able to fit through the hole because they're too big and that is a problem that's why I've got to get that bigger auger cannot stand the fact that I miss a fish when I'm in a competition where it's about total weight of the biggest fish and I know there's no way I can win it because one of these little buggers that are running around with me these NPCs are carrying one of those big heavy-duty augers All right, come on, fish. Let's get there. We go. Now this one might be too big. Nope, nope. Nice white fish. Nice. That's well, four pounds. Can live with that. Can live with that. Yeah. See, I keep fishing these white fish, even though I only got one pike. I still seem like I get the white fish. And if they're big enough like that.
Makes all the difference. Yeah, if I was in a on a real lake and it started creaking like that, I'd probably do something that I wouldn't be proud of. <laughs> That'd be kind of spooky. When I was a young lad, I used to go down to, there was like a small pond that was near where we lived. And of course, you know, anytime there's a small pond and you've got kids, you know they've got to check it out. That's just the way it is. Especially for my time. And it was winter time and the kids were saying, you know, hey, hawk. whoa, there's a nice one. You need to come check this out. It's all frozen. So, of course, you know we had to. And it's a, it was a pond of sorts, but it was actually part pond, part swamp. So a lot of it was really shallow. So in the shallow areas, it was pretty, pretty solid. I mean, you could probably, you know, jump up and down, in which we did. And you were, you were okay. Well, I decided to go a little further in and the ice broke and I went in. The only thing that was good is that the water was no deeper than about three feet. But let me tell you, that was some cold, cold business. <laughs> Seriously cold. Yeah, this is already freezing up. Yeah, if I don't get anything soon, I think I'm going to move. Yeah, you kind of have to move around too, because you could fish out an area. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to move. I think we've done all that we're going to do here. I'm going to pull up stakes. We are going to head elsewhere. Yeah, I think I'm going to head over here. Yeah, honestly, I didn't fish over here before. And I didn't realize that this was such a deep area too. So I think I'm gonna try this one. Sorry about that. It'll be my wife's phone. <laughs> I swear to God. Always getting interruptions, aren't we? Alright, let's see here. See if we can get us a little action here going on. All right. I like fishing deep. Now I know you can fish at different levels, but if I'm trying to catch the biggest or best total weight, I am definitely. There we go. There's my pike. He's not absolutely huge, but he's decent enough. Wait a minute. Let me get it right there. There we go. Yeah, I like to make like little circles, which it's just what I do. It doesn't matter. Whatever you feel comfortable with, as long as you're jigging. I mean, you could do up and down, you could do side to side. I'm not really going after the panfish, though. It seems like the. Eh, something hit it. Yeah, perch. It 
seems like I want to get this deep. The whitefish really like to go for that movement for some reason. I like the whitefish because I can catch a lot of them in a short period of time. But it might not be deep enough. There we go. Ah, oh, damn. That's too slow. That's too slow. Damn it. Completely messed that up, didn't I? Hmm. Shoot. Alright. That must have been me bumping it or something. Uh, I get to talking. And not fishing. That's what my father used to say. You gonna talk, you gonna fish. <laughs> I did always believe that talking scared the fish away. Of course he ended up talking about as much as I ever did, but I just tend to talk a little bit too much. <laughs> I found out that they don't hear a darn thing. I mean, they do, but... Not like we were taught as kids. Ooh, nice perch. I will say I found that move, that move, that particular movement has been very good for catching perch. Yeah, I need to watch my time here. I'm gonna try one more before I run back. It takes you about a minute to get back, so if I can get one more. Come on. There we go. There's my whitefish. Okay. All right. Let's pull up stakes. Let's head on back. I got well over a minute, so that shouldn't be a problem. But you gotta make sure you get in that little starter circle. Looks like they're already there waiting. And I'm here. There's a lot of other late comers too. Better hurry up, dude. Anybody else? Is everybody here? I guess so. Nope, he's still sitting there. What's he doing? Hey, stupid. <laughs> I guess he wants to be disqualified. Oh, he's going to last second. Whoa! That was crazy. There I go, first place. 1,075, not bad. And look at that, 22 pounds, 22.42 pounds, guys. 11 fish, there was one other person caught a little, but he didn't catch anything big. It's an excellent way to make some cash, guys, in this game. I love doing it. Yeah, this is, this is much faster. You don't have to sit there and go through the tournaments. Even though if you do a tournament, you can't beat the cash. But you, usually if you do a tournament one way or another, you will end up getting some money.
but one thing I do want to check real quick, I want to kind of take a look at this online thing. It's truth be known, I haven't even looked at it. Okay, so I wonder how do you do this? So I guess you host a game, or you can join a game, and somebody names it. We'll have to investigate that later on, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode, and I will be sure to be back. Hopefully, I can get somebody to to get on here with me. We could do a little bit of competition against each other, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I don't care who it is at this point. I'm hoping it's the Lakaba, but, you know, I know he'll probably kick my butt, but the fact is, I just want to play, and I want to see if I can even come close. So... Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And please check out this game, guys. It's called Ice Lakes. It's on Steam. I believe it's going for $11.99 at this point, And there might be discounts at certain times. But check it out. And it's definitely worth your time if you like the fish, guys. Anyway, until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.